soon we are celebrating another harvest. Oh yes. And so, man of scripture will be taken from St. Matthew 9, from verse 37 to, from 38 to 39. Then said unto the disciples, The harvest is truly plentiful, but the laborers are few. Pray ye therefore for the Lord of the for the Lord of harvest that he will send forth laborers for his harvest. Amen. Hallelujah. Pressure below the roof, to be honest. And trust me, when I came here, 
And I go back to the doctor and ask me which one of the medication I tell me to stop taking them. I push me a drink. I tell you, trust me. So I tell you, don't drink. You see, since we changed my life, I get a whole heap of fight. But what do you say? I say, I got it first. You understand? Come on, you can't take me. I'm putting you where you want to put you because it's time to go. You understand me? So, you see, right now, me no business who want to track me. Who want to say what they want to say? You don't come and church for what you need for boys. You don't come and church for what you need for blues. You understand me? I say, I got me up here. So when you come, me not look behind me. Look at me say, go out with me, man. Go out with me, man. You understand me? Say, if you are true, you see, I just be your mind. You say, listen to my man. You are going to sleep. But just keep up. Because here I go. I hear you. You see, you live in your house, you know. Things happen in your house, don't you? But you don't need me to go out of your house. So we need me.
I just hope you see my birthday for you. Happy birthday to you.
and on Sunday all departments, all branch churches should be closed. A simple fasting service. The Metropolitan Prayer Meeting is the head of this fasting for those persons who will not be at work. And you can be here to bear his arms up in prayer and fasting. We are asking you to do so at 11 a.m. shower. All right? So when is that? Tuesday. All right, so who, those persons who don't have a work or you're not going to work on that day, and you can spare the day to be here with our Metropolitan Primates, 11 a.m. is the starting time. On May 7th, the lovely Thanksgiving table and baby's christening will be held right here at the headquarters. Um, Galloway will have three nights of service between May 10 and 12. Missionary Department will have one day convention on the 14th of May, the 21st of May into the 28th of May. Prospect will host its general conference. Convention. Convention. I'm sorry. Thank you. Please bear this notice in mind as we continue to worship. Uh, praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Yeah. As I said earlier, greetings to you, my life. It's a Kelly. Metropolitan, all right. Um, you know, I came to church a few months ago and Reverend prophesied to me say that boy, you know, you go get a truck, you know, and thing. And honestly, I was wanting a truck and thing, but a virgin gave me a truck, imported truck, right? And an imported truck. It's like in camp the trucks and then I'm gonna give me a truck. I went to nine if you buy a truck, five and buy five minutes for the truck. But then the person gave me a job three million dollars. <laughs> and it's funny enough, funny enough, funny enough, funny enough. I got the job, license, insure, fit, wow. a red door. And secondly, when we go back again, we said to the mindset, give me the accounts for transfer the money mindset when you're ready to get the money. Hallelujah, <laughs> thanks be to God. <laughs> So when you come to the man of God here, we are telling you to be afraid to swear on you, mom. You know what I mean? He come to church Tuesday night, but church was over. Sister Bryce was on the floor. And Sister Bryce and you remember that something was stopping him so long to find him to do. And Sister Bryce and speak to him. He's on his way doing what he has to do and get to the particular one. Let's take one little our metropolitan prime to our bishops to all you sweet saints. I just want to greet you all in the mighty name of Jesus. So this testimony has to do with the sewing. Praise God. It was last week Sunday. I was here and um Mother Teresa came up and she was giving her testimony about something holding up for her for too long. I think it was Elder Bishop Foster gave the testimony and she sewed into it. And then now she got her breakthrough. So I am waiting on two things. One from the government Amen. and one from my insurance about the car. But I was more interested in the government one. Let me worship the Lord. Amen. So, you know, I was sitting down there and say, every day I text the post office. But then, we sit over there and we say, no, so I was so in the testimony here. And I get up so mad. And I said, I'm going to so into this and can be too long. And that was the Sunday. And the Thursday. I got a text on my phone that it is here. Who will it be but Jesus? Amen. Okay, thank you. Clap her again. Hallelujah. We're going to take a selection from the the soul into testimony. Yes, sir. You cannot receive without giving. I saw myself and give my offering. And things that were made, it's a little more fun because I guess one more story about oh, believing God, all the things that God had been doing. Since that began to happen, 
we are already having testimony about people who sow right into testimony and get their breakthrough. This is of the Lord. God wants to sow in the testimony. This of faith is called the ark of faith. Also, if the man of God preaching and you hear a word of prophecy, a word that is hitting you, go in your envelope, in your money, so into the man of God. Get a blessing to all of the man of God. The, the instrument has been using to bless you. When you give your offering, you are giving it to the church. When you put it in that, you are giving it to the church. You also need to bless the man of God who is working and tired and sweating and prophesying to you. So in the man of God. God going to say this all to me anyway. But I want you to be blessed too, God. There are others outside is sowing into me. And they are getting their breakthrough. And they are getting their deliverance. But you are not doing that. The church, you need to do so also. And you get your blessing too. You cannot want the man of God blessing to you, and you are not being a blessing to the man of God. Amen. And blessing to the church is different than blessing to the man of God. Alright? So when you get the testimony, you believe it for it, begin sowing. Alright? Take this servant, offering, giving, and, and testifying. Take this part of service very serious. Amen. Because testimony make wise. It's simple. It educates you, and you, you have to move now in an act of faith, and you receive your blessing. Amen. When the Sunday school is coming, put your arms together for the Sunday school.